2013, Mary Catherine Russell was 37 weeks pregnant when her worst nightmare came true. And they both just said, we're so sorry. He's gone. Her baby had a blood clot that went to his heart. Mary Catherine was induced and gave birth to her son, who was stillborn. I held him for 30 minutes before they came back to get him. You have no time to stop and think and process. Six years later, Mary Catherine was on Facebook when she read about another woman having a stillborn baby. But this woman had access to a cuddle cot. It, it looks like a bassinet, just your basic bassinet, and it has a refrigeration system under it. So basically it's for preservation of the baby's body. She says she immediately wished a cuddle cot would have been available to her like the woman she read about. She was able to dress her, hold her. It gives you those three days to say, okay, this has happened. I don't have long, but at least I have this amount of time with the baby. Today, she has two boys, but says she will always think about her first child, which is why she started Cots for Cannon. I would love for every hospital in Jackson to have one. A cuddle cot is just over $3,000. The fundraiser so far has raised enough money to buy two with a goal of purchasing at least four to donate to local hospitals. In Jackson, Alleyware, 16 WABT News.